Hello everyone. Today we are going to configure Microtik IP version 6 tunneling 6 to 4. In this diagram, we have a IP version 4 address as well as 6 address, right? Let's see how to configure it. We have a two reset router here. First of all, uh, for set identity, right? R1. You can go to the system to identity, right? System to identity, or you can just type here the identity changed, right? Interface bridge, right? We are creating a bridge interface for our LAN IP configuration. Okay, so how to create a bridge? You can go to the bridge, then click plus, then apply. Okay. The bridge interface is created and now assigning our IP version 6 address. This is our IP version 6 address. You can go to IP version 6 to address, then you can manually assign IP address or you can just copy it and then go to the new terminal and paste here. Both IP configuration done. If you go to the address then you can see both IP assigned done. Then you need to configure instance OSPF instance as we are using OSPF for reachability both router. Just copy or you can go to the routing to OSPF then you can create instance from here. We are doing it by terminal just paste it here then router id is configured if you go to the routing to osp version 3 then you can see router id is set here okay then assign connected interface right network in ospf so just copy and then go to the terminal and paste it here the both interface added in routing OSPF. If you go to the routing OSPF version 3, go to the interface, you can see both interface is now added. Then assign IP version 4 address for point to point, right? This IP address. go to the terminal then paste it here if you go to the ip2 address now you can see this is the or ip version 4 address right then create a tunnel 6 to 4 tunnel just copy and go to the terminal and paste it here the tunnel is created if you go to the interface then you can see yes this is our tunnel and this is the local address this is the remote address and this is ipsec key for security purpose then assign ip address in the tunnel just copy and then go to the new terminal and paste it here the ip version 6 address assigned in tunnel if you go to the ip version 6 address now you can see the tunnel ip is assigned then this is route configure just copy a new terminal just paste it here now if you go to the routing routes IP version 6 to routes then you can see this IP is this route is configured here our R1 side configuration is done let's do configure R2 router this command for changing the identity just copy and go to the new terminal Just paste it. Oh, new pass. Mm. 
just paste it then you can set that our identity is changed right then create a bridge interface for LAN IP assign the bridge interface created right very good then assign IP version 6 address Let's paste it here. If you go to the IP version 6 address, then you can see both IP is assigned point to point as well as LAN. Then create OSPF instance, just copy, double clone first, back, and okay. The instance is created. Routing OSPF version. If you go to the instance, instance is created. Very good. Now, configure OSPF. Just uh, add connected interface. If you go to the routing OSPF version 3, you can see the interfaces is created. Very good. Edit. Now as an IP version for IP if you go to the IP to address you can see the IP address is here. Then you create a tunnel. This tunnel is created if you go to the interface now you can see the tunnel source local IP address and remote IP address is assigned here then as an IP address in tunnel IP address session is done. Now add route. Very good. The route also added. So those command I will share with you because uh, those are very straightforward. You can just uh, copy and paste. And the main concept is tunnel creating and now let's see the configuration is properly working or not in that case you need to check by ping this is our r2 router and if we go to the r1 router you can start ping Yes, it's reachable, right? Tunnel IP is point to point is reachable. Also, if we ping one nine two dot one six eight dot hundred dot two IP version four address, it's also reachable, right? So our tunnel configuration is properly working. Also, if we ping the destination address, like ping it's also reachable, right? We can ping R1 from R2 LAN block. Thank you for watching.